It would be in 1996 with a very large meningitis outbreak that took place in sub-Saharan Africa with well over 250,000 cases. There were over 25,000 deaths and enormous amount of chaos that resulted from all of this. One of the largest uh, meningitis epidemics ever reported. Meningitis is a disease that affects the coverings of the brain and the spinal cord. La meningite est une maladie beaucoup crainte dans notre pays. It affects young people between 1 and 29 years of age. Ça constitue de graves épidémies. It comes suddenly. Patients can within 24 to 48 hours without prompt treatment die. This thing has to go away. So after this massive epidemic, African ministries of health uh, got together, uh, went to WHO to develop a vaccine which is affordable. The vaccine underwent extensive clinical trials in India and Africa and performed very well. Today, December uh, 6th, was really the day of the first introduction of this vaccine at public health scale. And today the launch was by the president of Burkina Faso himself. And you can see that there's a lot of political commitment for this vaccine. You have seen presidents, ministers of here today to launch this vaccine. This one is preventive and as you know prevention is better than cure. The the government of Burkina Faso is committed to immunizing the entire population between the ages of 1 to 29 years uh, in Burkina Faso over the next 10 days to 2 weeks. Je suis euh, guéré demain, infirmier diplômé d'état, donc euh, au Burkina ici. Et dès que c'est venu, vous constatez que depuis le matin nous sommes là, on ne finit pas avec euh, cette foule que vous voyez depuis le matin. Nous avons pu vacciner hier 4916 personnes et approximativement on aura peut-être euh, les mêmes chiffres aujourd'hui. The epidemics of Group A meningococcal meningitis will cease in Burkina Faso. We've uh, benefited certainly from uh, Gabby's support with the introduction of this vaccine, and we rely on uh, Gabby's support to finish the rest of the introduction because there's another 250 million people in the African meningitis belt uh, that need to profit from this vaccine.